Hey, Lisa, listen up. I know you've got that ultrasound thing going on tomorrow, but I can't tag along to the doctor's office, sorry about that. I've got this totally out of the blue work trip coming up, and it's super urgent. Oh, really? Here we go again. You're telling me you've got yet another unexpected work thing? Every time I have an ultrasound appointment, you conveniently have some urgent business or a sudden work trip. I can't help but wonder if you even want to be there with me. I'm carrying our kids, Dean. Shouldn't you be more considerate and make an effort to prioritize important moments? What's your deal? Enough with the constant complaining. I already told you I'm swamped with work. Can't you, for once, be a supportive spouse and think about your husband's needs too? But, seriously? It's the weekend tomorrow. I can't help but notice that you've been overloaded with work on weekends. What's the deal with that? How many times do I have to repeat myself? My company is on the fast track to success, and obviously, that means I've got a boatload of tasks to handle. Look, I've got a work trip this weekend, and it's crucial. I can't just drop everything to cater to your whiny, selfish demands. Get over yourself. What on earth are you talking about selfish demands? Are you seriously suggesting that prioritizing an ultrasound for our child is selfish? Oh, come on now. You keep going on about our kid like it's some big deal, but let's get real here. Who's the one who actually gets pregnant? That's right, it's you. The baby's only at the four-month mark, and your belly isn't even that big yet. I'm pretty sure you can handle going to the hospital on your own, can't you? But... Dean, this isn't fair. You can't just simply ignore me like this. Consider it a done deal. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a mountain of work to do. So do me a favor and quit bugging me, okay? Two days later. Hey, Lisa. How's that little bundle of joy doing? Is everything going smoothly with the baby? I can't contain my excitement for the day when your little one finally arrives. Hey there, Candace. Thanks for checking in. I actually had an ultrasound last Saturday morning, and I'm relieved to say that the doctors gave me some fantastic news. The baby is doing absolutely great. Oh, really? You had an ultrasound last Saturday? That's strange. What's up, Candace? Is there something bothering you? Oh, really? But Dean mentioned something different to me. He said you were at home all day last Saturday, just watching TV. What? No way. I did go for an ultrasound in the morning to see how my little one is doing. You know I wouldn't make up stories about these things, don't you? If that's true, then I guess it means Dean didn't go with you to the hospital for your ultrasound test. Huh? How do you know that? Well, it's because he was actually with me the entire day last Saturday. What? How is that even possible? I know. It's quite strange when I really think about it. Dean mentioned that he was free that day and you didn't need his assistance with anything. That's why he invited me and my kids to go to the zoo, do some shopping, and then we all had dinner together. Honestly, this is just so bizarre. He told me that he had an unexpected business trip on Saturday. That's why he couldn't accompany me to the hospital for my checkup. If he was with you the entire day, then, did he lie about his work trip? Well, I suppose so. I'm really sorry, Lisa. I had no clue that Dean would stoop to such levels. Wait a second, 
He also mentioned to me that he had to work last weekend. Was he with you on that day too? Oh, no, he wasn't with me during that time. Thank goodness for that. Phew, that's a relief. If he was also with you that day. I don't know what I'd do. Honestly, it's hard to fathom that my own husband would lie to me, especially when I'm pregnant with our child and in need of his support. I'm truly sorry, Lisa. I'll have a talk with Dean about this and make sure he clarifies everything for you. No, Candace, you don't need to apologize. You didn't do anything wrong. Dean lied to you as well. You're a victim too. Whatever the reason is, lying is never acceptable, especially when you're carrying his child. Don't worry, I'll have a serious conversation with Dean about this and make sure he apologizes to you. A few moments later. Lisa, what did you tell my sister? Did you rat me out to her? I can't believe you're such a snitch. You're supposed to be my wife, and we're supposed to be a team. But you, you've betrayed me. Huh? What are you saying? I have never betrayed you. Oh, quit pretending to be clueless. Did you go blabbing to my sister that I lied to you about having a work trip last Saturday? You sneaky little woman. You've completely tarnished my image in her eyes, and you're well aware of it, aren't you? What on earth are you talking about? I haven't done anything wrong. We were texting the other day, and she asked me how our baby was doing. So I simply mentioned that I went to the hospital for an ultrasound last Saturday. That's when she told me that you were with her the entire day. Now, tell me the honest truth, Dean. Why did you lie to me? Oh, come on. What's the big deal? You're well aware that my sister is going through a tough time in her life, right? She just went through a divorce, for crying out loud, and now she's left to raise her two kids all on her own. Meanwhile, you should consider yourself lucky that you still have a husband by your side. So quit your incessant whining and stop being so spiteful. Candace is your sister-in-law, for heaven's sake. You shouldn't be jealous of her. I'm not jealous of her, really. It's just that I find it a bit strange that you lied to me about going on a business trip. I know Candace is still living with your mother, and I believe they take good care of each other. But if you wanted to spend more time with your sister, you could have just told me directly. I have no issues with that. Communication is key, you know. Really? Are you absolutely sure that you're fine with me spending more time with my sister? Of course. I understand that Candace might feel lonely, especially as a single mom. So I'm completely fine if you want to spend more time with her. However, please remember to consider me and our child as well. And please, honesty is one of the most important values in our relationship. Oh, thank you for being so cool and understanding, Lisa. You're no doubt the best wife I've ever had. One week later. Lisa, I apologize if I'm interrupting you as this time of day. However, is there something wrong going on between you and Dean? Hello, Elise. I'm sorry for asking, but I'm curious as to why you're bringing this up. Did Dean mention something to you? Well, you see. Dean has been visiting my place quite often lately, and it's becoming more frequent. So I started wondering if maybe you and Dean were having some issues or arguments. I apologize if I'm being nosy. I just want to ensure that both you and my son are doing all right. What? Dean has been visiting your place more often? When did he come to see you? Sometimes on weekends, and even during his working hours at times. 
I hope everything is fine between you two. After all, you're carrying Dean's child, and he should be more attentive to you rather than Candace and me. You know, I found it a bit odd when Dean suddenly asked me to spend the entire day with him. He mentioned that you two were having an argument, and he needed some time away. So I agreed to go with him. What? Dean spent the entire day with you? When? Well, it was a weekend before, specifically the Saturday two weeks ago. I assumed you were already aware of it. Apparently not. Dean didn't mention anything like that to me, and we weren't fighting. He told me he had some work that required his urgent attention. Now I'm starting to wonder. What do you mean? So, if I understand correctly, my son lied to you about having tasks at the company and instead spent time with me? Goodness. I have a feeling that this isn't the only time he has lied to you. Yes, it seems so. I recently discovered that he lied about a work trip so he could take Candace and her kids to the zoo. And now, it turns out he also lied to spend time with you too. Honestly, I don't even know what to say. I feel like such a fool. Oh my goodness. I am sincerely sorry, my dear. How could Dean do such a thing to you? You're his wife, carrying his child, and he should be more considerate and attentive to you, not engaging in deceit behind your back. Should I talk to him about this, Lisa? No need, Elise. He's my husband, so I'll handle this matter myself. I truly appreciate your honesty and support. It means everything to me. Thank you. Oh, it's nothing, my dear. It's just something that a mother-in-law should do for her daughter-in-law. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you need any assistance. I'm always here for you. A few moments later. Hey, Lisa, I heard you're planning to head back to your parents' place for the birth, huh? Dean? Why are you asking me this all of a sudden? You know, I was just curious about it, and I wanted to get confirmation from you. So, can you please cut to the chase and answer my question? Yes, I do plan to go back to my parents' house for the birth. I believe I mentioned this to you before. Don't you remember? However, I'm thinking about returning to their house a bit earlier than planned. I've been feeling stressed lately, and I thought it would be nice to get some fresh air and support from my parents. Oh, yeah, I remember that, but I just wanted to double-check. When are you planning to head back to your parents' place? If you really want to, you can go from tomorrow onwards. What? Starting from tomorrow? But why? Well, you know, I'm just genuinely concerned about you. I can see that you've been under a lot of stress lately, and it's taking a toll on your well-being. As your husband, it really worries me to see you like this. All I want is for you to be happy and free from stress. I understand that we've had some misunderstandings between us, and it truly breaks my heart to see you suffering, especially during your pregnancy. That's why I thought it would be best for you to go back to your parents' place for a change of scenery and some much-needed support. Well, I appreciate your concern. Thank you for that. But hold on, are you serious about this? Do you really want me to go and leave you alone? Of course. You're my wife, and it's only natural for me to be caring and attentive to your needs and desires. That's what husbands are supposed to do, right? I know we've been having some rough patches lately, but deep down, I'm still committed to being a good husband. I'm still the same man you fell in love with. Oh, that's really thoughtful of you. So, should I leave tomorrow and go to my parents' place? You got it. In fact, the sooner you move out of the house, the better. 
It's all for your well-being, can't you see? Everything I do, I do it for you and our child. Well, all right then. I suppose I'll start packing my things and make arrangements to move back. I appreciate you being so considerate. No need for all the formalities. I'm just doing what any decent husband would do. I understand you're already dealing with morning sickness and the challenges of carrying our child in your tummy. So, don't worry about packing your stuff, because I'll help you with that, okay? Oh, really? You're willing to help me with all the packing and everything? You sure? I don't want to burden you, especially since you've been so busy with work lately. I can manage it on my own. Or if needed, I can hire a moving company to take care of the packing. Oh, come on, Lisa. Don't be silly. I'm definitely going to help you with all those little things. It's a piece of cake for me, trust me. And hey, I'll even cover the shipping expenses. You don't need to worry about any of that. Wow, that's nice of you. All right, then. I'll leave it all to you. Absolutely. You can count on me, sweetheart. One week later. Candace, guess what? I've got some fantastic news to share. Are you ready to get excited about what I'm about to tell you? Um, really? I mean, what's the big news you're eager to share with me, if you don't mind me asking? Hey, guess what? I actually managed to chase my wife out of my house. She's been gone for a week now, and I don't think she'll be back until after she gives birth. So, here's the plan, you and my nephew can come live with me from now on. And hey, if you want, we can even invite mom over to join us and be a big, happy family again, just like the good old days. So, are you as pumped as I am right now? I bet you've been missing your big bro like crazy, am I right? What are you talking about, you creep? Wait, hold up, Candace. What did you just say? Am I reading this correctly? Did you seriously say something that awful about me? Yep, you heard me loud and clear. What on earth were you thinking? Who gave you the crazy idea to kick your own wife out of the house, huh? Seriously, you should be ashamed of yourself for pulling such a rotten move. You don't deserve to be Lisa's husband. What are you even saying? I'm doing this for you and your kids, you know? I mean, you're all squeezed into that tiny, uncomfortable apartment, so I thought it'd be way better if you guys came and lived with me in my house. Is there something seriously wrong with that idea? I've even spent the past week cleaning up and getting the rooms all set for you and the kids. Trust me, once you see it, you'll love it here. Are you serious right now? I never said I wanted to move in and live with you. Who do you think you are, just coming up with that idea and making all the decisions without even consulting anyone else? Do you have any regard for other people, including me and your wife? But, but. I swear, all I want is what's best for you, mom, and my nephews. I mean, let's be real here, who wants to live in that cramped little apartment, right? I've already told you, bro, my sons, and I are doing perfectly fine without you. We don't have any struggles or issues whatsoever. In fact, we're quite content with our lives just the way they are. But? I thought you'd be all down and out since you just went through a divorce and would want your big bro to be there for support, you know? No, not at all. In fact, it's quite the opposite. My ex-husband turned out to be a total jerk who cheated on me with some younger girl, so I have zero regrets about breaking with him. 
Plus, he's still sending a hefty amount of money every month for child support, and I even got half of his assets in the divorce settlement. So, seriously, what's there for me to be sad about? What? If you're sitting on all that cash, why on earth are you and mom still stuck in that same old cramped apartment? It's way too tiny and definitely not the best place for my nephews to grow up in. They deserve a bigger and cozier place, and that's exactly what my house offers. No doubt about it. Dean, seriously, I've already told you this before. We all genuinely enjoy living here. It's not some ancient place, you know? It's actually fully furnished and provide us with everything we need. And the most important thing is that the house is filled with memories of dad, and that's why we choose to stay here. Plus, my sons absolutely love it here. Wait, did Lisa force you to say these things? I knew it. I knew she's such a sneaky witch. Listen, if you still have an ounce of shame left in you, you should pick up that phone and beg your wife to move back in with you. Maybe, just maybe, if your apology is sincere enough, she might consider giving you a shot at redemption. Ugh, seriously? What's your deal? Why the hell would I stoop so low as to beg Lisa to come crawling back to me? Do you even understand what a pain in the ass she is? Ever since she got knocked up, all she does is whine about her damn morning sickness and how her precious little belly hurts. It's beyond annoying, and I'm so done with her crap. Let's face the reality, she doesn't even come close to being as cute and sweet as you. I'm not even kidding, it's the honest truth. Oh my gosh, Dean, you're seriously giving me the creeps right now. Can you please just stop? Listen, no matter what you say, I am not going to move in and live with you. So you can totally kiss that idea goodbye. It's just not happening? But, but I already went and quit my job so I could be there for you and your little ones. And now you're telling me you won't even move in with me? Seriously, what the heck am I supposed to do now? I'm at a loss here. Dean, seriously, listen up. If you don't go and apologize to Lisa right this instant, I swear I won't even bother talking to you anymore. It's your call, bro. I get that it might be tough, but please, step up and do the right thing for once, okay? All right, fine. If that's what you want, I'll do it. I'll apologize to Lisa, but let me make it clear, I'm only doing it because you're telling me to, okay? Don't forget that. Three days later. Hey there, Lisa. How's it going? Everything cool with you? Yeah, everything's all good. What's up? Why do you want to know? Whoa, what's with the chilly vibes? I'm your hubby, right? Can I just ask how you're doing? Just checking in on you, babe. Just making sure everything's going smoothly. You know I care about you, right? Well, okay. I'm just a bit surprised. It's been over a week since I came back to my parents and you haven't even sent me a text. And now, out of the blue, you're asking how I'm doing? Oh, come on. Don't give me that look like you're mad at me. I just got totally caught up in work, you know? Ever since I got promoted to manager, things have been crazy busy. I barely have a moment to breathe. The workload keeps piling up, and it's been non-stop. Oh, seriously? Are you actually busy, or are you just wallowing in sadness because your little plan to kick me out of the house totally blew up in your face? Ha! Huh? What the heck are you going on about? Cut it out with all this nonsense talk. 
Oh, come on, don't act all clueless. I know everything. The real reason you were so keen on sending me back to my parents' place was because you wanted to kick me out and have your family move in, right? Am I hitting the nail on the head here? W what? Who told you this? Your mother and sister. They have already told me everything. Despite being married, you still can't bear to be separated from your mother and sister. Frankly, Dean, you're just a mama's boy. When I discovered that you had been lying to me about work trips just to spend time with them, my trust in you crumbled. That's why I didn't hesitate to move back into my parents. Wait, what? So, you went back to your parents' place not because I asked you to? No, absolutely not. I'm not someone who be fooled so easily. I'm not stupid. By the way, thanks for assisting me with the packing. Gotta admit, you did surprisingly good. Anyway, I just sent you the divorce papers, so let's get it over with, shall we? What? Divorce? Are you actually serious? You can't just up and leave me like this. My mom and sister already ditched me, and now you want to do the same? You're my wife, and you have an obligation to stick with me. Get back here right now. Are you kidding? No way am I coming back. You're a total jerk, and you deserve to be alone. I will never, ever agree to a divorce. You must stay with me and fulfill your duties as my wife, no matter what. Oh, really? What if your mom and sister are pushing you to divorce me? Are you actually going to go against their wishes? You wouldn't dare. No way. You're lying. Why would my mom and sister ever want us to get divorced? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're a total jerk, that's why. If you want, I can show you the proof. Actually, I'm sending them to you right now. Prepare to be shocked. No way. Are my mom and sister really saying this stuff about me? I can't wrap my head around it. They're even threatening to cut me off if I don't make the divorce easy for you? Ugh. Fine, I'll go through with the divorce. Are you happy now? It's insane how cold you can be to your own husband. Oh, and by the way, don't forget about the monthly child support you'll be coughing up after the divorce. I'll be keeping track, so don't mess it up. Child support too? I can't afford to throw my hard-earned cash at that nonsense. Hang on, Lisa, can we please just rewind and go back to how things were before? I really, really don't want us to go through with this divorce. I'm begging you, Lisa, please reconsider. Let's give it another shot. This time around, I promise I won't disappoint you. I'm ready to go above and beyond for you and our little one. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. In the end, Dean had no choice but to proceed with the divorce, despite his initial plans to postpone finding a job in order to avoid paying child support. However, his mother and sister convinced him to reconsider. As a result, he had to settle for a part-time job that barely covered his expenses. Adding to his difficulties, his co-workers also turned their backs on him. Dean persistently showed up at my door demanding to spend time with our child and begging for us to reconcile. Nevertheless, I only allowed him to see our kid on the agreed-upon days. I am moving forward from our broken marriage and focusing my energy on providing my children with a happy and fulfilling life, as they deserve. I am grateful to still have contact with Candace and Elise, who have been incredibly supportive throughout my entire pregnancy. They have always treated me with kindness and welcomed me as a part of their family. I value their presence in my life and I know that as my son grows up, 
he will also appreciate them.